What's up? What's up? Gaunt's here. Gonna do this video um, showing the Serato visualizer. Um, been getting asked about how does it even work, and I haven't really seen videos really talk about it, so I'm just gonna show you guys what it is. So I already have like a beat that I created. So did process. Got a whole beat, a whole beat done here. So we'll pretend, you know, you got your track completed. You're going to go to the export area. And what's helpful, too, is if I turn my pro mouse on so you can really see what's going on. So, again, we have our beat done here. We're going to go to export. Instead of going up here, I'm going to go to export to Serato Visualizer. So you're going to click on that. It's going to prepare the audio file. And I'll do an edit of this uh, progression. Okay, so once it finished uploading the audio, we have it down here where you can see what's going on with it. As far as, trying to, as, far as playing it. I'll bring the volume back down. So you kind of have an, an overview of what's going on. So this is kind of by um, like their default design. So over here we have these different sections. We have a background, text, logo and stickers, effects. Um, you can upload your, say you have a logo that you want to upload. You can do that. You can go through their gallery, a text to image. Um, you know, everyone's on the uh, AI fun. But we're just going to stick with the uh, defaults here. So again, this is the default here. I'm just going to kind of pick something. Let's see. I'll be very artsy smartsy. We're going to pick this one instead. And it's that simple. Um, I can do some things as far as flipping and making it fit to the dimensions that we have here. We have three dimension choices here as well. We have like our kind of standard vertical, our YouTube sizing so if i hit fill it will try to fill that space we also have like one for say ig so we'll just stick with the square one for right now and then let's see here we have this going so i'm just going to add i'm just going to add text to this here we have our different fonts that we can choose Auto heavy Start typing. You put test beat. Uh, check this beat out. You can put it where you want to. Effects. Or I should go to logo and stickers. We can put, say, uh, Serato logo, a little Serato sticker here. So it's just a cool way to add a, a visual aspect to your beat. Go to effects. We have this cool little effect where it'll react to your track and adjust the intensity of that. And you can tell it to apply to everything on there as well. So I'll pick some different ones here. Do a neon one. We have this like pixelated kind of style. The mirror. You can get pretty crazy with it. This chroma shift. We have this bass blur. Some pretty cool effects in here actually go and again you can adjust how intense you're wanting that effect to be Put it on film yeah you have a lot of different options here change the background go back to your effects maybe that wasn't the greatest option there let's see here so again, you can have fun with this thing. It's just a cool, it's a cool visualizer. 
Again, you can tell it to not be applying on certain aspects. Just let your track play and see what kind of works on here. Again, not anything super crazy. And then once you have everything done, let me just go to mirror. No, let me try something here. See, now I'm already thinking of ideas. <laughs> let me fix this. I'll put this on the bottom. Put a little guy here. This here. Maybe I should change the text. Maybe not as intense. Whoops, that's too much. So that's just as, as an example. But yeah, you can um, come up with cool little effects. So say you're completely, you know, you're done with your creation here. You would export your square. It'll tell you what format as far as the ratio and also the file format and how long it is. And then they have these little, you know, tabs that you can, can kind of help you as far as creating a certain style as well. So again, I know some people are like, man, I kind of want to add a little visualizer to my track. And this is a really good way. Like once you're done creating your song, if you just want to put it out on IG or TikTok and you're not the best um, editor, this is a really good tool to use. And the export's really pretty dang quick. Once you have that, put on my desktop. Got that there. So now, there's your creation there. Ooh. there you go it's that simple so again once you're done with your creation here as far as your track you go to export go to export to serato visualizer and that's it you can start editing and, and having fun with that so start making some cool videos <laughs> and with that i'm out peace everybody have a good one